Hello to all the TBR members. This is chapter one of um, a series I called GTO Plus, looking at the game through the optimal lens. And uh, in chapter one, I will cover um, some basics, uh, which are end matrix, the slider, the copy paste box, the combos box, the weight box, the suit selection and the group selection, the predefined ranges for slider, and how to classify and save your ranges and um, how to input a board, in fact. So those are very, very basics. Uh, and if you guys have already played with uh, some kind of poker softwares where you can input ranges and boards and stuff like that, maybe this will be a bit too basic for you. But um, uh, for those of you that are very new to those kind, uh, kind of softwares, um, this chapter will be, um, will be a, good, um, a, good, a good place to start, in fact. So um, in, uh, in chapter one, um, when you open the software, in fact, uh, this is the, 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 the window uh, you'll have. And the most important box to, uh, to start to use the software is this one here, the, the, the left one. And um, if you go up here, you get two hand matrix, uh, which are called ranges, range one and range two. And this is very important to know that um, range one is for the out of position player and range two is for the in position player. And there isn't a way really to know in which box you are when you select uh, one of these uh, hand matrix, other than when you are with the uh, out of position player, the, this window here is a bit closer uh, to the, um, the left box here. And when you choose this one, it moves a bit uh, further on the right. So if you look now, look at how the, the window moves. And this is the only way to know in which uh, ranges you are. So just be aware of that because if you screw this thing up here and you start a simulation that take uh, a couple of hours to, to, uh, to solve and you, you realize at the end that uh, you had the ranges wrong, you will be very pissed like me the first time I um, used GTO Plus. So, like I said earlier, if you uh, never played with uh, some kind of poker softwares, um, Hand Matrix, in fact, is a, a grid where you can see all the possible combos um, you can be dealt in No Limit Hold'em. And um, to, uh, to start, if you want to build a range, in fact, you, you have two options. You can use the slider, which is this bar here, or you can use, uh, you can go uh, manually and select every combos um, one by one in the end matrix. I personally never use the slider. I will explain how it works, but I personally, personally never use it because I think that it's more beneficial to build your own, your own range by clicking uh, combos one by one because uh, you're going to remember um, more efficiently ranges that way it, uh, than if you use the slider because when you use the slider, the software just build the range for you. So um, let's just start by the slider, in fact. So basically, if you go from zero to the right, it will add uh, hands. And let's just say that... Um, it uses an algorithm for choosing uh, those those hands, a formula if you want, and it is probably based on equity, pre-flop equity. This is my guess. In fact, I can't uh, assure you that this is how the the um, this is how they choose uh, the hands. In fact, but I'm pretty sure it's it, it has something to do with equity. And um, if you go here, you can see now that it is written no limit. And this is the default formula, if you want, uh, for GTO Plus. But if you click on this little blue triangle here, you'll see that you have four more options uh, to choose from. And uh, basically, if you click on Poker Stove, for example, and you play with the slider, it will choose the hands in the range uh, based on the Poker Stove formula, if you want. And notice that if you use this box here, which has uh, now 0%, and you input, let's just say, for example, 20%, it will choose 20% of all hands uh, at no, on No Limit Hold'em. 
And notice that when you choose uh, this way, you will have over the box here uh, the number of combos within the range you, you, you uh, selected, which is now 270 combos. And uh, this is the box, the weight box. And basically the weight box is um, when you're not selecting 100% of a particular combos. Let's just say, for example, you just raise 50% of the time with pocket sixes here. You just type in 50, hit uh, enter, and you go with right directly in the hand matrix and just click on six here. And it will uh, select only 50%. And let's just say, for example, you only raise 50% of ace four and ace five suited. You click on those here and they will be selected at 50%. And a cool thing um, in GTO Plus is when you over over a, a combo is that um, is weighted at 50%, for example, if there is other combos in the range that are weighted at 50%, it will show you them um, and they will be pink like this here. So for example, if we choose 25% with ace nine and ace 10 and queen T, jack T and king T, for example, now, if I hover over it and we are, um, let's just put this back at 100. Now you can see that it will show me every hands in the range that are at 25 and the same for uh, the 50%, for example. So um, let's just remove this uh, here. And uh, let's just say we select 15% of all hands with the poker stove formula. Notice that we got the lowest pocket pairs we got is uh, seven. The lowest uh, suited aces is a seven and the lowest of suit aces is ace t of suit. But if I choose the uh, no limit here, which is the default GTO plus formula and I type in 50% here. Now notice uh, we got all the uh, pocket, uh, pocket pairs and the lowest uh, suited aces is now ace nine and here we got ace 10. So Dependently on which you are selected, selecting, uh, it will be different. If we choose heads up all inequity and we type 50%, now we got a bit more uh, aces suited and a bit more of suit uh, aces. We got ace nine now and we don't have pocket twos, threes and fours. So I, will, I would just leave it to no limit, which is the default um, formula with GTO plus and I would just not use uh, the slider, in fact. So let's just build a range here and we're gonna build the uh, famous solve for Y opening range, the famous holistic opening range, a range that I used a lot when I started to play uh, online last year. So I think this is the range, in fact. 19.2% of all ends in no limit hold'em. And um, let's just say that for a particular reason, I just want the uh, suited connectors to be in um, heart, for example. So you go here, there is a box called suit selection. You uh, click on this button here and you select the suits you want. So let's just say we want hearts here and we are gonna select every suited connectors here. And we just click on apply current selection. If we go within the end matrix now and we hover over a combo that is uh, suit select, now you can see that there is a little box on the right that shows me that um, all those pink combos here are only hearts. And this is how you uh, suit select in, uh, in GTO Plus. And there is another option which is called apply groups to selection. And uh, my understanding of this is when you want to visually uh, separate some uh, categories of hands, for example, if we want all the uh, suited aces to be red, for example, we just click on the red color here, group tree, and we can just select all the suited aces by click and dragging. And if we want, for example, all the pocket pairs to be uh, green, we can now just uh, do the same thing here. And this is probably another way to visualize your range. And um, I personally never use this option and maybe I'm just too dumb to figure out. Uh, there's surely more to this, but uh, for now, I, I uh, this is the way I understand um, 
the way this option is working. So once you um, have designed a range and you're very proud of you, you can save your range um, in this box here. A quick way to do this is just click on add range and just type the name you want your range to have. So let's just click on random here. And if we just um, remove the range and we hover over random, it will show you um, the composition of, of that range in particular. And let's just say, for example, we go over those here. When you hover, you can just quickly see how composed is the range. And um, let's just say, for example, you want to design all your opening range from every position at the six max uh, table. You can create the category. So you go here, you click on add category. You just type the name of your group, race first in, for example, you type this here. And now um, you select your range which is the random here. You double click on it to load it in the, the window in the out of position um, player range. And if you go on raised first in here, you just click one time on it. And now you click on add range, type random. Now it will uh, save your range in this group, the raised first in group. So you can close this um, here by clicking on this little circle. And uh, you can obviously, when you select uh, race first in your group, you can uh, color it. You just go here and you, you can, you have different colors to choose from. And you can do the same with your range here. Just so you do this like this. And now you created the group and you can put your range in it. And if you want to rename your, your group, you just uh, select it, type rename. And let's just say that we get race first in uh, version one, for example. Click accept and it will change the name the same for the color and if you want to delete you just click on you select it and you click on delete and it will delete it so this is how you classify and save your ranges and before going further further with uh with those range um when you if you go with in this box here which is the uh, how the how the how your range is, is built in fact all the combos in it you click on the uh, in the box now it selects all the um, the hands. You can copy paste. You can hit Control. Yeah, this is what's going on. Sometimes it just, it doesn't uh, translate very very well from a software to another. So if, for example, we just um, remove the suit selection here and um, Let's just go back here and select all those ends. And now try to copy paste this, which is very, very simple. Maybe there is clearly something wrong with my Flopzilla right now. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm just going to close it and reopen it. Okay. So now if we go back with this Sulfur Y opening, 